loyal fans like you. Captain America, the Winter Soldier, has grossed over $700 million worldwide. Hey, listen, let me make it about me for one second. You guys are the experts. Tell me if I'm wrong. The first time I saw it, I've seen it two or three times, I forget it. First time I saw it, I was like, this is the best movie Marvel's ever done. Enough for me. Without further ado, you waited long enough. Let's bring out Sebastian Stan, a.k.a. Bucky Barnes, a.k.a. The Winter Soldier, and Matthew Matthew, Sam Wilson, The Falcon. Welcome, gentlemen. Nice and formal. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Perfect. Right there. Just in case they didn't know who you were. Thank you. Yeah, we get confused all the time. I'm hey, Wilson. always lost. Hey, Wilson. On your left. Oh, very good. I've been waiting all day to say that. On your left. You went to an Ivy League school. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> Fellas, congratulations on the success of the movie. Uh, I was just talking to you, Sebastian, a second ago. Uh, I've seen it a handful of times. It is phenomenal. Best movie Marvel has done, and that's saying something. That is saying that's something. That's what I said. It's the best movie. But this is my, I've known, me and Anthony go back to New Orleans. I've known Anthony for a little bit. This is my first time having the pleasure of meeting you. You look like a regular chill dude. Where this badass with the soldier come from? I mean, you can't fight that movie, man. It's just really deep stuff. <laughs> You I don't know, man. I, 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 thank you. Thank you very much. I, I don't know. I think the costume really kind of helped me out a lot, you know? Just sort of not recognizing myself and wearing a mask and all that fun stuff. How physically taxing, Anthony, start with you. How physically taxing were some of these scenes you guys had to do? The, the, the fight scenes were amazing. Anthony, you, how many times you jump off of a, of a building and you uh, jump out of a window from the 41st floor? A lot. <laughs> Anthony a lot. didn't really fight. <laughs> I tried not to. I have a great stunt man. So they show us a previs of the car flipping. That's when lifting in the air and the door falling off and them sliding behind the car on the door. And I go, Aaron, <laughs> your turn. But nah, it's a um, it, man. Dang, what is this on oh, Uber? This is loud. This way on. I feel like I'm in an airport. <laughs> Should be taking off anytime soon. I'm looking forward. No, but it's fun. I mean, for the most part, we did a lot of our own. I'm talking. I'm talking. I'm sorry. Where's the? The person didn't get to talk much in the movie. That's what it was. Oh, that mask on so long. We had so many lines. Now, every time he came out, he did this, and they were like, "Cut, Smash, Can you can you talk in your regular voice? All right. All right. Sorry, I am. I'm talking in my voice. Action. Captain America. Right. What are you doing? I don't even know who this guy is. Every time I turn around, he's always there, and I never know why. True story. True story. I heart Sebastian. And Matt, though. Look. And Matt. It says Sebastian Ashton and Mac Attack. What? Well, well, man, you put mine on this evening. You didn't even color mine in. I did <laughs> mine in I with pencil. Wait, Anthony's going to be here? Are you serious? Yeah. Do you want it now? Wait. Don't make it weird. <laughs> Did you bring Sebastian a bracelet? I gave it to him already. Did. I have it. I have it backstage. Okay. Well, so, well you know what? Enough for me. Uh, we could talk all day. The, the people have been waiting. We've already started. Let's get to some questions. You want to take some questions, audience? Let's we'll start on this side. With the winter soul. Look at this. Keep it going. Can you believe that? Thank you. All the winter soldiers are really good today. I have to say. And I, um, so my question for both of you guys. You obviously have some really. <laughs> Sorry. You guys have some really complex costumes, and I was wondering if you got uh, what the funniest story you have of any costume malfunction is. I think the amount of uh, uh, lube that. Uh, <laughs> True story. It took for him to get in his costume. I thought you were talking about your, yourself. But. No, 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 not me. Kid. No, my costume was nice, but his. his yeah, a real cool jetpack. <laughs> that sounds fun. Where are the wings? He, he would always come, and they would literally take like a five-gallon bucket of Crisco oil, 
and rub him. And shrap, right? You hear that? Come on. And then put him in a costume and then the arm would come. So they would take jelly and fill the arm up and it would always do this. Yeah. The nastiest thing in the world. I'd be sitting there and be like, maybe I'll just put some of this in my hair. <laughs> He's like, I don't know what to do with it. No, the, the one for me was, there was this moment where, I, where I'm supposed to, like, I'm chasing uh, Black Widow and I'm like, I run up on this car and like, I position myself for the, for the shot. And then um, I fell like a few times doing that. Um, and then one the time I got in there. The movie is the one time he didn't I, fall. <laughs> Yeah. And take 12, they were like, got it, cut, all right, moving on, moving on, don't ever do that again. And it was probably the close-up because, like, my pants had, like, literally ripped in half. Right. And, and the rest of everything. He was just unsustaining a dragon every day. <laughs> Decepticon. Oh. I, got, I got one real quick. I don't want to be so Mac, I got one real quick. As a newcomer, man, just so how exciting was this for you to be a, a part of this franchise and, and to play the Falcon, who was a very beloved character? <laughs> it was a, uh, it was great, man. I um, I didn't grow up on comic books. I grew up on you know baseball cards and fighting in the yard. And you know I've been hounding Marvel for five years. And I was like, yo, at some point in time, you gotta put a brother in the movie. So you can give me now for cheap. Or you can wait. So five years later, I get a, a t email from them saying, "Don't call us anymore. We'll call you." <laughs> so six months later, I go out to LA and meet at, meet with the Russo brothers and uh, Nate Moore, the producer. And they couldn't tell me the name of the movie, what the character's name was, what the story was about, or what I was doing. They just wanted to know if I was going to be in a Marvel movie. Is that okay? <laughs> so I said, "Hell yeah." <laughs> It just, it just worked out. I mean, you know, as an actor, it's kind of like winning the lottery. It's like being nominated for an Academy Award. You know, it's, it's funny. I've been in two movies that won Best Picture. <laughs> Captain America come out, people are like, Jesus! <laughs> you got marriage proposals in the Right, you know what I mean? I get secondary posters. I get all kinds of stuff. Oh, you did your thing, for so sure. So it's been huge. Awesome, man. You got a question? Yeah, um... So, if you guys could tell Steve Rogers to keep something from the past, what would be like vinyl records or something? Like, I would tell him never to use CDs, always use vinyl. Okay. Yeah, right. You you gave him trouble, man. Yeah. So you've already. I'm, I already answered that question in the film. <laughs> <laughs> what if would you, you could tell, tell Steve Rogers from the past? to keep something? Yeah. Other than Black Widow. <laughs> Yeah, like something to not, I guess, update or whatever. Yeah, so you said keep that's vinyl that's instead of like CDs, fun. for instance. But you were frozen too, so you don't really know. Yeah. You're, you're not the person that. I don't know anything. Yeah, you don't even know who you are. You don't even know that you're really Bucky. What? <laughs> <laughs> I know him. Um, Just keep slipping back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, but serious question. No. Speaking of. Okay, good. I know, I like cassette tapes. I always, I always like cassette tapes and making like. Mixes and stuff. I kind of miss those. Why not? We keep that. I'll keep that. But that's not from the past. That's like our generation. <laughs> I don't know. I'm Romanian, all right? I'm about to say that. <laughs> but okay, let's go from the past to the future. The question on everybody's mind, you've been asked it a million times. Are you going to take the shield one day? Oh, whoa, whoa. That's how the comic book goes. That's what the comic book that's the story, all right? Drive and roll up the partition, <laughs> Would you, okay, would you like to, to take the shield one day? Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll do it right now. Uh, yeah, I'll do it right now. I don't know. I mean, look, it's not up to me, you know. I, I'm just, I'm just, uh... I'm just showing up when they're when they're calling. I mean that's that's it. But I, I wouldn't mind a little Black Widow Winter Soldier story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, I know the Falcons got a couple things yeah, for, yeah. for the Hulk. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Roll up the partition. <laughs> No, but you got, I mean, you, you, the last line of the movie. Uh, when do we start? Right. So I mean, you're, you're obviously on the loose. You, you, you're running with Captain America. Have you guys had discussions yet about how, what we're going to maybe see in part three, or is it just still taking it part two? 
Not at all. <laughs> so enjoying the ride right now. Yeah, that's that's all it is. Bro. Although some, oh, somehow I feel like even if you did know anything, you wouldn't share it. Oh, I know. Oh, oh, oh okay, cool. All right. Yeah. yeah. You know, you know what's the what, 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 no? Maybe a tease, maybe something. Yeah, it's really good too. <laughs> yeah. Really good. Let's let on. They're better at asking questions than I am. <laughs> yes. uh, my questions for both Sebastian and Anthony. Um, oh. You are both amazing actors um, from the roles that we, uh, we've seen you in. Um, but I was wondering, would you ever want to host Saturday Night Live? Show your comedic side? You guys are hilarious right One now. One of my dreams is to host Saturday Night Live. It is. It's easier to get hit by a line drive home run <laughs> outside of Yankee Stadium, walking down the street, going to get a slice of pizza, <laughs> than it is for a brother to host Saturday Night Live. Literally, cross my look it up. <laughs> the advent of Google, brothers can't lie no more. Real rap, real rap. That's the truth. So yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sebastian, uh, of course, uh, like one hundred percent. I would, I would be terrified as hell, though. I'd be so nervous. I, I don't know what I would do, honestly. But, but I would do it in a second if they came to me. My question is for Sebastian. Um, I've been a fan of you since the Covenant in. <laughs> following through with you and all of these characters that you play, they're very angsty, very deep, dark characters. So what is it dark. like? You're so dark and deep. <laughs> I'm, really, I'm really not. You're really not. This is shallow as I just, I just walked into the wall back there, honestly. <laughs> What's your question? I'm sorry. Horrible people. <laughs> What is it like, obviously, you know, you've said that you're, you're a very, like, uppity, clearly happy person. What is it like to play such an empty character as the Winter Soldier? And do you take that away once the cameras are off? How do you relax and not carry that weight with you? Or were you a method actor? That's a lie. That's a... Do I, do I look like a person that's very relaxed? <laughs> you look like a very uh, happy camper. I, you know, I, but here's the thing, I never thought of like the Winter Soldiers being empty, you know, it's actually the opposite for me, you know, because the guy's got so much going on, he just never knows, like it's always, it's always like an extreme version of ADD to me, you know, like he keeps getting flashes of things, he sees things he maybe he recognizes or he doesn't, like he's, his mind is constantly going, it's all over the place. Um, so, uh, I don't know, I, 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 I mean, did I just think character, I just tried to, I listened to a lot of music when I was when we were shooting, and uh, and um, yeah. Is this what it was like with the two of you guys when the cameras were rolling? I'm so happy we were on set at, at the same at the same time. On set at the same time. Because you'd have never gotten the movie done. He actually never talked until uh, the premiere in London, and he showed up, and I was like, "Who's that dude?" <laughs> it's like that's the Winter Soldier. Yeah, well, they were like, they were like, you're doing the, you're doing the whole, all the interviews with Anthony Mackie, and I'm like, what do I, what do I, what do I say to him? <laughs> you know, what do I talk to him about? That's pretty much it. <laughs> well, thank you. Guys you guys seem to have hit it off well. Thank you. You guys seem to get along well. Yeah, well, you know. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> you have the whole Saturday Night Live together is what I'm thinking. You know, like in a partnership. So, I told him we need to do Butch Cassidy and the Sandman's kid. Re remake. What? We need to do Butch Cassidy and the Sandman's kid. Ooh. Remake. Let's do it. 50 bucks. You there, young lady. Hi. Um, okay, so my question... <laughs> so my question is, um, both of you have played a couple different characters, and Anthony, I know how dedicated you were to getting a Marvel role, but um, are there any other like specific types of characters that you look forward to play? I don't usually work, ever. <laughs> so, why don't you go ahead and answer that question, Anthony? <laughs> uh, that's good. <laughs> um, I have a few, you know, passion projects. Um, I feel like uh, Jesse Owens is one of my passion projects I've been working on since my first day of, of 
acting. Um, um, to be honest, to be weird, don't make it weird. Uh, I would love to play Napoleon. <laughs> if you don't know, Napoleon is from Corsica. That's the land of the Moors. I don't know. <laughs> but, yeah, he's, he's just always been an instrumental figure in like, everything I've read about him and the way he, you know, everything he's done. It's those two people, you know, other than like Sazu or Idi Amin or somebody like that. They're all very awful. <laughs> I've always wanted to play Billy Idol. Wow. I really, I really think that they should do a biography on him. I would, I would do that in a second. The other, the other thing that I always wanted them to make was uh, the movie version of the, of the autobiography of the Motley Crue book. And I would want to play Vince Neil. So maybe, so those, those would be two things I'd be passionate about. Smokey and Abandoned. <laughs> I know 90% yeah. of the audience don't know what that is, but Netflix it is Burt Reynolds keeping it real. <laughs> that's what real, he had a monkey at one point. It just got real. So, yeah, that's one of my favorite movies. Um, okay. Um, first of all, I kind of can't oh. believe uh, first of all, I kind of can't believe I'm asking a question. I'm kind of freaking out, so if I stutter, that's why. Freak on, <laughs> sister, freak on. <laughs> Second of all, obviously this film has an incredibly dedicated group of fans and one of the ways that that's been expressed a lot on the internet is through fan fiction. So, uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know what that is. Fan? You said uh, fan fiction? I, I, I myself am a fanfic writer and just how do you feel about people expressing their love for this story in a way that they want to continue it and that they want to look at it from a different angle and really put their own opinions into the story? I have no idea what your question was. <laughs> Can you write it down? Basically, people on the internet, there is an enormous archive of people. No, 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 first problem, first problem, first problem, first problem. The I word. What? The internet. Don't do the I word. Don't. The problem with the internet is, it used to be like before you guys were born. <laughs> your parents would go out and somebody would say something crazy and they would have to say it to your face and you would deal with them accordingly, men and women. But now with the internet, people can put their name under a psychedelic p phone and say what, whatever they want and there's no consequences for their actions. The idea is, if you have something to say, stand up and say it. That's why I don't read the internet. There are a lot of people on the internet that think I'm an awful actor, and God bless them. <laughs> But you paid, though. <laughs> I, you know, no, I, like, look, I, I believe anyone should have, you know, the right to an opinion and say whatever they want, but I, I do think people sometimes use that privilege in, in different ways that's sort of, like, cheap. And the thing about it is, it's not real. Yeah. Believe it or not, there's not a dude that's gonna fly in here and I throw kryptonite at him and he can't walk. It's not real. So the idea of being like, oh, well, the comic book said this, so that's not the comic book. It's like, my man, it's not real. I don't know. Er earlier, I, I put you on the spot and the professionals that you are, you handled it. So I know you're limited in what you can say about future scripts, but that said, I think, I, not, what, what I don't know what fan fiction really is, how excited are both of you guys just about the possibilities? It feels like this is not just a sequel, but the beginning of something long-term for both of you in the Marvel franchise. Is that fair to say? Yeah, no, absolutely. You know. You know Hell yeah. <laughs> are you all for nine movies, right? Something like that? I mean, I guess so. I guess so. You got seven Which left. You got seven. Yeah. Seven. I could, be, I could be standing up here like when I'm 45. I'm still, still trying to be like Winter Soldier. I don't know. Yeah. Yes. Hello, Winter Soldier, Falcon. Good to see you playing nice today. Last time you were tearing each other apart. <laughs> you were fighting in the movie, but you're not today. That's what I said. <laughs> My question is, since, um, 
since the movie's come out, what have been your thoughts on fan reaction? And even sitting here today and walking around and seeing Winter Soldiers and Falcons everywhere, what are your thoughts on that? I think you guys are the fucking best. <laughs> I don't even think I've hugged my own family the way I've hugged people out there today. <laughs> we like you a lot, too. <laughs> Hi. Whoa. Yeah. Cap's in the house. <laughs> so, since the I word is taboo, so, I was wondering, I imagine you all get into your characters very much so. And darn it. But what happens with the relationships with the characters, and how do you, I don't know, with the actors? What are your relationships with them? Are you well, friends? I don't like them. <laughs> but I have to. <laughs> so, you know, I act. <laughs> um, <laughs> what? No, what? The idea is very simple. You know, acting. Film, theater is the only profession where it's okay to be schizophrenic. <laughs> if you worked at an office and you go home and you're like, no more pencils! It's like, I'm a crazy. <laughs> but if you're an actor, it's like, oh, I gotta release this character. No, man, be an actor. It's a job. I love the Falcon. I begged to play the Falcon. When I got the job to be the Falcon, I was like, ain't nobody else gonna play the Falcon. <laughs> As soon as they go, that's the day. I say, cut the check. That's a, it's, it's very easy. It's very easy to separate yourself from the character because the character is his own entity. So, unless you own some whole nother, that you need help. Not you in the first person singular, but like that person that can. And I forgot to say, you're both very handsome. I told you. I looked at him, I was like, man, it's like, you're winning today. <laughs> uh, look at his hair, man, look at that. <laughs> Drive his little boy. Okay, my question is for Sophia. Sebastian. Um, I'm Obviously, the Winter Soldier, a good 90% of the movie, you don't have any lines, and you basically had to create your entire character with like your eyes and your body language. And I was wondering if you could talk a little bit about how you managed to do that. How, what was the last part? How did I manage to do that? How you managed to make such an amazing performance without having more than like two lines in the entire movie. <laughs> I think there's like a fly on the wall. <laughs> um, I honestly I have no idea. Every day I turned up, I was like, there, there were days where I, I had no clue what I was going to do. And, I mean, are you really that? You really need that attention so bad. Why are you going to answer this question for me? Please! <laughs> I do a very good Sebastian Stan. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. I did, I did. I, that was a great answer. You know, I, I, like, I, I watched a lot of performances that were really good villains, and I sort of like, I just, it was just a compilation of different things. But my point is, sometimes, no matter how much you prepare until you get there on the day, you don't know how things are going to work sometimes, you know. I, until I actually had all the, the whole costume together, I didn't, I didn't really know how I was going to move in the film. So, and that, I couldn't prepare for that until I showed up on set. So sometimes you just gotta go say, fuck it. Okay, so I know that you guys can't say whether or not you have a part in Avengers Age of Ultron, but if you were to have a part in it, what would you hope for your character to do in that movie, or how would you like to progress them forward? Well done. <laughs> I would love to have a superhuman deathmatch with Iron Man. You know you can lose, right? I know I can take him. <laughs> oh no. What the soldier might be able to take him. No. No, I always want I, I always want an Iron Man. I always, that's the that's the guy I would want to fight. 
I feel like that's the guy. I mean, when a soldier would want to fight. <laughs> Young lady, Bumblebee. Hi, um, big fans, and I was wondering if your characters had to die at some point, how would you want them to go out? <laughs> you guys are so angry. This is why I don't listen to rap music. It just makes you so angry. I would want to blow up. I don't want to know. Like, because every time Loki dies, he's like, Hello, Thor. <laughs> so dead. So dead. Ain't he dead? Ain't the black, uh, uh, was it the black, uh, what was it? the black, uh, with the ears? The black elf? Ain't the black elf kill him? Dark elves? Yeah. Okay, dark. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I got to Winter Soldier would just dislocate his arm, just beat himself. <laughs> stop the music, stop the music in my head. Black Bob, and ironically enough, it was my very first Broadway play. And ironically enough, I did it with Whoopi Goldberg, who's here today. And I played her a little stuttering nephew, right? So I was like, not that I'm, you know, older. I'm like, I want to go back and play the role that I was meant to play. So uh, my reign is Black Bottom. If any of y'all know Queen Latifah, call her and tell her she shouldn't do it uh, with me. Um, and there's another play called Someone Who'll Watch Over Me by Frank McGinnis. Um, and that play, it's timely, it's amazing, it's poignant. It's everything that theater needs right now. I, Reese Lightning! <laughs> I, did, I, did, I did that when I was, when I was younger. I did that when I was younger. Sorry, that's what I want for him. I'm sorry. Oh, he's saying Sandy. Uh, <laughs> I I've always wanted to do Hurley Burley. Um, like I, I if, the, yeah, the play. I mean, I, <laughs> I've always wanted to do that. I think all those characters are amazing, and I wish I wish you know I, I hope that one day I can do that. Hopefully on the stage. We got time for a couple more. We'll be on this side, I think. Yeah. Oh, no, this side. Oh, I'm sorry. We'll get to you. I'm sorry. We'll get to you. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Um, you guys got to work with some really highly acclaimed actors very early in your career. Was it an intimidating experience being so young in your career? So, like, as um, Ian McShane when you were in Kings and uh, when you were in the mainstream candidate and Million Dollar Baby. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if anything, I, I, I think it just sort of, uh, you know, just makes you step up to the to the plate, sort of thing. You know, these these guys are so professional. They've worked for such a long time, and they're obviously they carry respect in, the, in a certain. They had a Ian McShane, Leo Schreiber, like some of the people that that I worked with were all Ellen Burstyn. Like, they had a real etiquette about themselves, the way they carry themselves as actors. You know, they were proud to. To, to be an actor, and, and sometimes I feel like as actors we're ready to feel like we're just idiots. But, you know, these guys come from a different generation, and, and, and they sort of embrace that, and, and it's, it, it's very respectful, actually, to them. So, a lot of that stuff kind of um, was, was what I was looking up to when I was working with them, and, and I just, just made me step up, and I wanted to do my best. It was just fun for me, when we did Million Dollar Baby. Um, you know, that was a weird process because I had to tape myself and then send the tape to Clint Eastwood. So like three weeks later, they're like, don't take a job, we want you in the movie. So I'm like, that's impossible. 
So fly to LA, start the movie, and it's Morgan Freeman. And like the first week, we're doing the boxing scene. So you know, I walk in, little hot head, like, oh, you gonna take it down, old man. Like all that stuff was just improv, riffing, just going on. So he started punching me for real. <laughs> And I'm like, yo, this is abuse, but you can't say anything because it's Morgan Freeman. That's right. He's punching me, and they be like, cut, now look good, you go back to Clint. He's like, give me another one. <laughs> My man, you're punching me. So he's like, he would get me in the corner, and literally, he had one glove on, he would punch me with all his mic and go, mm, pay your dues. Mm, pay your dues. So the movie was over, and I'm like, I hate this dude. <laughs> If he come out his trailer before I get to my van, I'm going to kick you, right? <laughs> so he comes up to me, he's like, you have a promise in future. Here's my number, here's my email. If you need anything, you let me know. And I was like, wow, you know, like Jesus. <laughs> and he can tell me Yeah, like God, uh, Hi, um, I guess my question is, if you could play any other superhero, whether it's Marvel or even DC, who would it be and why? Well, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not answering that why? question. <laughs> you are good. <laughs> you take, yeah, I noticed you take that Winter Soldier attitude and apply it when you can do I'm not speaking right now on that. <laughs> yeah. uh, any other heroes? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Anthony. Uh, I would. Don't make it weird, right? I don't I would love to play Wonder Woman. <laughs> Don't make it weird, man. Don't make it weird. I know it'll never happen. But every time I see the little Spanx, like yeah. the little the suit, come on. <laughs> come on. I'll, I'll the only reason it won't happen because it's DC, that's all. That's it. You can't cross I'm already in Marvel. Yeah. I mean, they, they, wrote, they wrote me a letter asking if I was interested. I was like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, nah, I'm busy. Um. I guess I gotta be the bad guy. I've been told, I've been told, I'm like, yo, I don't wanna end this. Um, no, this is where you give us the profound intellectual, uh, Michael. This is where you hit us with the real. Yeah, okay. You know, right? uh, like when we first met, and I was like, man, this dude, is, I need a thesaurus to talk to this dude. <laughs> I turned on Siri. It's like, listen to this fool and tell me what he's saying. <laughs> For everybody here, I'm, I'm just like these guys. I'm just I'm happy to be sitting next to you guys. Um, huge fan of y'all work. You guys, thank y'all for entertaining us. That was a fantastic movie. <laughs> Marvel, took it to a whole new level of the physical performance in that game. You guys are fantastic. And y'all deserve all the success you're going to get. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for coming out here, man.